Okay, got a small problem. Fitted an oil cooler, these come with two blanking bolts in each side. Um, and this is a spacer between the engine block and the sump. The sump's under there. Um, I noticed that after fitting the oil cooler, going out for a ride, the oil cooler was cold. And I had a sneaking suspicion that there was pressure on both sides. Um, I took the oil cooler off, blew through it, it's clear, it wasn't the oil cooler's not blocked. What should happen is oil from the oil pump goes down there, goes through a drilling to the right hand bolt there, comes out of there normally, round the oil filter, in through one of these holes, through the filter, out the middle, through there, up, through a, dr a casting, a drilling, uh, which is that one, it's at an angle, I don't know if it, the camera picks it up, but it's at a slight angle and it faces that way. This is there, so they could obviously machine down and then, because the oil goes up, anyway, and it goes up and then into the engine. So, once you take this blanking plug out, oil's forced down there, out of here, and out of there, because this is the same drilling. See the way the light's coming in? <coughs> so they all should come through here <coughs> into the filter out of there through the hose through the oil cooler back through this hose this casting is purely an L shape it goes in and then it goes out to there but what's happening is the oil is coming through here at a BMW pumps have got a, quite a, a push to them and <clears throat> this, the, the oil filter, you can see the, the, the witness mark there where it seals, this bit is, it sits back a bit. This is recessed. Um, so this whole area is being pressurised with oil this whole area is being pressurized with oil so the oil as well as coming out of here and out of there it's being pressurized here and going out of there and out of there ideally it wants to come out of here out of there through the oil cooler back into there into the filter through the filter I can't see because I'm filled and then into there, up, and into it filtered all into the engine. But I don't know if this whole recess is being pressurized, so the oil is being forced out of there, and out of there, and into the cooler, out of here, out of here, into the cooler. So there's no flow and return. I don't know if I need another cooler, a uh, filter. I don't know if there's some sort of adapter you put on. I can't. I can't see it being anything to a banjo going on there because it's recessed for a start. These are flush. They're flush because they have a copper washer each side of 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 of. Uh, the banjo bolt there. See these banjos are flush. You get a couple wa couple washer one side, couple washer the other. Banjo bolt through the middle. Bosh bosh bosh. This 
here is a countersunk 8mm as you were counter mill oh god help us a countersunk 10 mil these are twelves also there's my little pointy coins here I'll see if I can do this that is where the engine block lives right there so I can't I could get uh, a 10 mil banjo bolt, 10 mil one of these into the top with a smaller banjo and it probably would miss but I can't see it being right, I can't see that as being the way it's meant to be. Um, the spare banjos are in the like. So I'm, I'm stumped, really. I'm going to have to put it back on with the blanking bolts in and just leave it for the time being. Take the cooler off. <coughs> Take the cooler off. Take the pipes off. Just have the blanking. Um, I have bent up bits of copper. Look at that. They look nice. Got a little bit of stainless uh, angle. I did have it mounted on that uh, diagonal chassis, sidecar chassis brace, but I had to have it very low. Admittedly, that is low anyway, but the pipes were too kinked, and the mud guard, if I lifted the thing up so it looked, you know, half decent and the pipes were nice, the mud guard, when I turned right, would smack into there. It's also because I've got to put clear bits of pipe on, um, and I, I holding my torch at the back with the engine running, there was there was a little air bubble sitting there, and there was no flow. It does fill up, but I went uh, how far away is Oxford? Ten miles. Stone, stone, stone cold. Stone cold. Stone cold. This one only got warm because the exhaust runs sort of along here. So I knew something wasn't right when I got there and it was stone cold. That one for the gearbox only does slightly, they're so efficient, they're only cheap. These little cheapies off of eBay. But um, this one, the the pump gets hotter than the cooler when it's running and I've been on a run and you can see all the frothy oil, this 2050 in the gearbox. Um, and this pipe is sort of warm and this pipe is virtually cold, admittedly. It's, it's a lot thicker wall on there and again with a clear pipe you can see the bubbles zooming around. It's all lovely. But um, yeah, I've got a bit of with a checker plate, marked it out, that's going to go on there and sort of round in a, in a thingy, I'll drill and tap, I'll get some inserts for the, this is bloody thick, this chassis is proper thick, that light, <laughs> I bought it as a daytime running light and it was up there, sort of, sort of quite high. Um, but when it was up there, it would just light the whole place up. So I've moved it right down and bent it down a bit, so it lights the curb and the, the near the near side of the road up. But it's bright. It's it's a bright bugger. Um, yes. So if anybody knows what I'm doing wrong. Or what I need. I've tried contacting the sellers, uh, Motoring Israel in Germany. I mean, this is lovely. This is really nice. But they're on holiday. Um, I've emailed them a couple of times, and it says on their website, <coughs> excuse me, that it's holiday season and there's a lot of bike shows coming up. 
So I rang them and um, they speak German and I don't. So I don't know what they're on about. But we'll see. But if anybody knows, let me know because even if I'm just being a twat and doing something really daft. But this is a different oil cola. Again, it's the middle is recessed quite a way in. And that is recessed away from, so there, there's a you know you've got a fair old gap pressurized that's just gonna come out of there and out of there so I don't know My daughter's in the crash helmet blood and guts and veins in my teeth who knows what song that was from anyway thank you very much goodbye